Hello everyone. I'm Nimi Melvin from Nimi Sack. Welcome back. Today we're going to draw a leprechaun. So we're going to use oil pastel for today's drawing, okay? So let's start. I'm going to start sketching. First, I'm going to draw a straight line across the paper, but it is a diagonal, very rightly, okay? And this is the axis of our drawing, and I'm going to leave three finger space at the top. And then I'm going to make a rectangle like shape for the hat. and a thin rectangle for the rim of the hat okay that is less than one finger space so just make these shapes really lightly then i'm going to make a circle like half circle okay and then body with two curves on the sides and one curve at the bottom and then i'm going to draw two rectangles for the legs two thin rectangles and then we can add a small curve on the side like a c shape for the shoes okay now we can add arms so i'm going to draw curved rectangles for the arms so big long rectangle shapes and that is starting from the point where these um, two lines meet head and body okay and simply add an oval for palms so we finished the basic sketching now i'm going to erase this straight line in the middle and then we can add more details okay first i'm going to make some curves for the hat okay So instead of the rectangle shape I'm going to add some curves like C shape on the side of the hat and on this big part of the hat I'm making a diagonal line and making a curve on top So small small details will help you to make it better So you can see I'm adding a curve at the top So we have completed that now I'm going to draw some details on the face First I'm adding a half circle for the face So just darken the other line so that's going to be the big beard okay Now just darken the lines for the arms it's the same line okay and then same line for the coat and for the coat I'm adding some details like V shape at the top and one straight line below it Then for the collar I can add some zigzag line or kind of triangle shaped lines it's connecting to the straight line and then don't forget to add some tiny circles for the buttons so we have completed that now i'm going to add this straight line for the boots and i'm making some small small changes for adding details on the shoe so you can do your own details it's fine and we will erase the line between this um, rectangle and c shape and just darken the rectangles now i'm going to add some details on the fist so we're going to draw a small circle okay instead of the oval i'm going to draw a circle then we can add the thumb with a tiny upside down u shape then add the stem of that leaf clover leaf okay and then you can add three heart shape for the clover leaf so if you want you can add four leaves too And now I'm going to add some details on the face so we can add tiny dots for the eyes and a small L shape like a curved shape for the nose and a small curve for the mouth. Now I'm going to add a small mitten shape for the other hand and a straight line to divide the fingers and palm and three straight line for the fingers because we have to uh, do four fingers there so add three lines then add a small curve from the thumb. and i'll draw that one more time on a bigger paper so you can see how i did it okay so we started with the mitten shape and one curve from the thumb and a straight line at the top and three fingers i mean four fingers with three straight lines okay so that's it and add this line at the top of the hat 
and some rectangles two rectangles for the buckle don't forget to add a bow so I have completed my drawing now I'm going to take my sharpie and outline the drawing So let's add some background details. You can add anything in the background. I'm going to add a big mushroom. And some grasses. And a pot of gold. And the rainbow too okay so you can add anything this is what my background looks like so let's start coloring I'm taking deep green and green gray for leprechauns hat and clothes and we'll start with deep green because that is the darker one in our color combination I'm going to do an outline, a small thin border for that. And just mark where to stop this darker color and use even lines for coloring that. Okay, you can use diagonal lines to fill that space. make the sides lighter you can see I'm doing very lightly on the sides so we can blend the color into it okay so we'll get a gradient by you know mixing these two colors from dark to light and this is how we are going to do this entire drawing we'll take two colors at least for each shape and we'll do the border with a darker color and we'll make a gradient with these two colors okay it's fine you can choose any color that that makes a good gradient for each shape and I'm going to use the same colors for his clothes so I'm making this video a little bit faster but you can pause the video and do it slowly okay and choose the colors you like and make it neat by using even lines when you color and here you can see it is really light so we can mix the next color same thing that we did on the top part of the hat and just fill this entire green with this lighter green so there will not be any tiny gap just fill it one or two times so let's start coloring the clothes with same thing start with the border and make a gradient with these two greens
So I have completed my St. Patrick's Day art. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.